Bring objects using the rectangular array. We're going to make a pattern of objects in what's called an array. This is a pattern in which um, we build a certain pattern and it has multiples of a copy of an object. The rectangular array is going to be made up of columns and rows. We're going to go up and we're going to go to the modify panel. And in the modify panel, we have rectangular array. We're going to select that. It'll ask us to select the objects. I'm going to pick this circle. And that's, I'm going to hit enter because that's the only thing I want. And AutoCAD guesses at what kind of rectangular array you would like. So it just puts values in. And so let's start off by taking a look at how this these are. These are called columns when they're vertical. So we have these columns here, and then when when they're sideways, the rows. Okay. So over here is the number of columns. So it says there's four columns: one, two, three, four. And up here it says we have three rows: one, two, three. We could change that. Let's put in because it just guesses. We could put in five columns. When I click in there, it added in a fifth column. We could come in here and say, well, we wanted four rows. You put four rows in, and boom, it puts in the fourth row. So these are the total number of rows and columns. This is the between value. So this is the between uh, the columns. So that is the measurement from the center, what's called the centroid, which is the geometric center of our shape, to the geometric center of our next shape. So this distance is the distance between our columns. It says it's 1.5. We could say, oh, that's actually, we meant that to be 2. Okay? and it'll change the distance. So over here we have a distance of one between the rows from the centroid or the center of the objects to the centroid of the next object in the next row it's 1.5. We'll switch it. We'll make it a little bit shorter. We'll say 1.25 and I'll just click over here and it'll tighten them up. You notice how it does the math for us. So if I have 2, 2, and 2, right? So I start here, go 2, 2, and 2. It's kind of doing the whole total for us. It's figuring out what the total distance is between the centroid here and the centroid there. And also does the total distance between the rows, between the center of the centroid and the center of the centroid over here. And it will calculate that for us. So, we have just uh, set up our rectangular array. Now, you're probably wondering about levels. This is for when we work in 3D. So, we can only use this if we're designing in 3D. And so, at this point, we're about ready. This is our, uh, our rectangular array ribbon. And now, we have to close the array. I close the array and now I've created one object. This whole thing is one object, okay? These are not separate circles anymore. So at any time, I can just pick on it. It brings me back to the edit array panel, which is exactly the same thing as our array panel, okay, essentially. And I can make any changes I want. I can come back in here and say, no, I really wanted to go with four columns and wanted to go with three rows okay and I can just click in somewhere else and boom it's done I can close my array and made my changes so it helps out this is all one item and arrays are very good with our file sizes so that's very nice so we just took a look at how we set up rectangular arrays and how we configured the columns and rows of the uh, 
uh, array. We'll take a look at some other uh, properties of the arrays in, in newer and uh, other videos.